Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all students. So we continue our lesson for STM 32F103 microcontroller interfacings. So in the previous class, we already cover how to interface STM 32 with digital input such as a push, bu push button and toggle switch. So in this chapter, we will we will cover another types of input that is uh, analog input. So what is analog input? In digital input, the input signal is classified as high or low or 1 or 0 only. But in the analog input, the value of signal is continuously. For example, for 5 volt sensors, the value of input can be ranged from 0 volt to 5 volt continuously. So measuring an analog input is a very common requirement for embedded system. Because most of the sensors that we are going to use, the output are in the form of analog value. Sensors are used to convert a physical signal to a time varying voltage. So there are many uh, types of physical quantities that we can measure around us using the sensors. For example, the temperature, the force, the pressure, the positions and so on. So all of these physical quantities are continuous, varying by time and we need a sensor to monitor this value. So there are some difference between digital and analog signals. Digital signal is always discrete in both time and amplitude. Generally free from noise, they can be manipulated by the computer This means that the computer or microcontroller can deal directly with digital signal. Some disadvantage, maybe some signal cannot exactly represent or reconstruct the signals. It means that uh, there are some plus and minus error in some value. So for analog signal, we can say that the analog signals are always continuous in both time and amplitude. They are noise sensitive cannot be manipulated by computer or microcontroller means that the computer can't deal directly with the analog signal. So we need to convert it to the digital signal. That's why we need what we call the ADC, analog to digital converter. Okay, the role of the analog to digital converter is to convert is to convert the analog voltage that is a continuous signal to the digital signal that is in discrete form. Okay, the analog to digital converter converts analog voltage to the binary numbers. The binary numbers can be different in 2, 4, 8, 10 bits or 12 bits. The more bits the binary number has, the higher the resolution of the ADC. For example, suppose that the voltage that supplied to the ADC convert varies from 0 to 5 volt, and the ADC converters convert the input voltage to a binary number of 2 bits. It means that we have a 2 bit ADC converter. So with 2 bits, we can only display 4 different options. That is it. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So that is, we can show the change from 0 volts to 5 volts with only 4 numbers, or more precisely, 4 levels. So you can see that the level in this uh, diagram. So the blue line describes the change in the input voltage of the analog ADC. The red line represents the digital level of ADC microcontroller. So we have four levels 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, we can see that the red signal are far from being ideal. That is, it's not close enough to the original input voltage value. Yes, we can say that ADC with the binary number of 2 bits has a low resolution 
and there is a large gap between the real value of the analog input voltage and the value of represented by the ADC. Okay, now suppose that the voltage that apply to the AD, A to D converter is still varies from 0 to 5 volt. However, the ADC converter convert the input voltage to a binary number of 3 bits. That means that we have a 3 bit ADC converter. So with 3 bits, we can get 8, 8 different options. That is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. So that is we can show that the change from 0 volt to 5 volt with 8 numbers or more precisely with 8 levels. Okay. So we have the blue line and this is analog and then the red line represent the original signal and okay. uh, the, the digital signals. This is better than previous red lines. This means the gap is more smaller than a previous uh, gap. Okay, using a 3 bit, we compare this uh, uh, both graph. This is a for this graph for 2 bits. This is a graph for 3 bits ADC. So using 3 bit ADC, so the gap between the analog signal and the digital signal is smaller compared to the 2 bits graph. So based on the good result that we receive, we can say that the current ADC converter has the high resolution compared to the previous. This means that the 3 bit is high resolution compared to the 2 bit. So, therefore, we can say that the analog to digital converter ADC of the microcontroller with a large amount of bits had a higher resolution and better accuracy when converting from analog signal to digital signals. The conversion time of the flow resolution A to D takes less time than the conversion time of the high resolution. Okay, for 8-bit microcontroller, so this is for 8-bit microcontroller, so we have 2 power of 8, that is 2, 5, 6 steps or levels. Okay, we have 2, 5, 6 or in hexa, uh, 100 in hexa. Okay, so this means that for the 5 volt ADC, the step for each level is 5 volt divided by 2, 5, 6, which means 19.5 milli volts. This means that each step increase 90.5 volt. So digital 00, zero analog value is 0 volt. For digital 01, step 1, so the, the analog increase 0 0.015 volt and up to FF5 volt. So for 10 bit ADC, we have 1, 0, 2, 4, 2 power of 10. This means 1, 0, 2, 4 uh, step or level. So each step is equal to 4, 8, 8. This means 5 volt divided by 1, 0, 2, 4. So we, got, uh, we get a 4.88 mini volts. This means each step, the voltage increase by 4.88 mini volts. So this value is more precise compared to 8-bit microcontroller. Okay, how to calculate the resolutions? So if you decide to work with an analog ADC with 3 bits length, you obtain 8 different binary numbers which represent different voltage levels. For example, for 5 volt 3 bit ADC, the voltage range can be represented as shown in table, this table. This means, so in this table, in this example, the analog voltage values from 0 to 0 0.62 volt have a binary 0, 0, 0. The analog voltage from 0 0.621 to 1.25 have a binary representations of 0, 0, 1 and so on. So how to calculate the resolutions? 
So this is a general formula for the solutions. The solutions is equal to VRH, which means voltage reference high for 5 volt. So <coughs> VRH is 5 minus VRL, voltage resolution low, divided by 2 uh, power of N. For example, if VRH is equal to 5 volt and VRL we ground to 0, it means 0 volt and N is equal to 8B, then the resolution will be 19.5 millivolt. So we just put 5 minus 0 divided by uh, uh, 2 power of 8. So we got value 90.5 millivolts. So how to calculate uh, analog value? So, so digital value, this means digital value is uh, for 8 bit is 000, 000 to uh, FFF is equal to analog voltage minus VRL divide by VRH min uh, minus VRL times 2 power of N minus 1. So if VRL is grounded, this means VRL is equal to 0. So this formula Simplify as digital value is equal to analog voltage divide VRH times 2 power of N minus 1. Okay, let's uh, try to solve some example. So let's say we have a 5 volt 10 bit ADC. So 10 bit ADC. So what is the analog value if the digital value is a 5 and then B 1 3 F in hexa. So we assume that VRL is equal to 0, which means that we ground the uh, VRL. So we solve the first question first, uh, question A first. So from the formula, so let's solve, uh, let's solve for the analog <coughs> value. So digital value is equal to analog voltage. Divide by VRH times my, uh, multiply by 2 power of N minus 1. So we use uh, 10 bit uh, ADC. So here 2 power of 10 is equal to 1024 minus 1. We get uh, 1023. So digital value is equal to 5. So this is a digital value. Digital value is equal to 5. 5 is equal to analog voltage divided by 5 volt VRH times 1, 0, 2, 3. Okay, let's solve for, uh, let's solve for the analog value. So, analog voltage is equal to 5 times 5 uh, divide 1, 0, or uh, 2, 3. So, we get the answer <coughs> 0 0.024. So the analog voltage is 0.024. So for question B, so 1, 3F, the digital value is 1, 3F. Okay, first we need to convert the hex value to the decimal value. Okay? Decimal value. So uh, 1, 3F is equal to 319 in decimal value. So we solve Using this equation, uh, this formula, to get the uh, analog voltage is equal to 1.56 volt. Okay? Analog voltage, okay? 319 times 5 divided by 1, uh, 1023. So we get the answer 1.56 <coughs> voltage. Okay, so let's do an, uh, another example. So for this example, we need to find the digital value if given analog value. So for example A, so given uh, analog value 1.5 volt. For example B, given 4.2 volt. Okay, using the same uh, formula, so we have digital value is equal to analog voltage divide VRH times uh, multiply by 2 power of N minus 1. 
So, in this example, we use n is equal to 8 because 8 bit ADC. So, 2 power of n is equal to 256 minus 1. So, get uh, 255. <coughs> 255. So, digital value is equal to 1.5 divided by uh, uh, 5. Uh, multiply by 255 is equal to 77 in decimal change to hex got a 4d okay same for example b <coughs> so replace the analog value with 4.2 so divide with 5 and multiply with 2.255 so we get the answer to 14 <coughs> or d6 in hexa okay uh, that's all for today class 1 introduction to LCD. So we will continue with class 2 in the next video. So thank you for watching. Bye.